Coming up on this week's Falcon Fever, the women's cross country team is on the right track to defending their conference championship title. And the volleyball team is hoping to celebrate their 40th anniversary with a winning season. Plus, soccer shutout. See how the men shut down PBC rival Francis Marion. See how our show brings the game to parents all around the world, even here at home, up next on Falcon Fever. Hello and welcome to the first Falcon Fever of the 2012 fall semester. I'm Casey Beasley. And I'm Mike Lartris. Thanks so much for joining us. Let's kick things off with men's soccer. Saturday, the men used the home field advantage as they defeated visiting Francis Marion University 4-0. Pierre Omanga scored a pair of goals while freshman Thomas Davis and junior Jackson Tolleson added a goal each. The game was goalkeeper Brendan Ledgeway's fourth shutout of the season. The Falcons improved to 5-2 overall with a 2-0 record in the Peach Belt Conference. With the win, the men moved up two spots to number five in the latest NCAA Division II Southeast rankings. The men play on the 26th at Clayton State and then play on the 29th here at home against Peach Belt rival Lander University. For soccer team captain Gary O'Neill, playing at UM means he's a long way from home. His fi family is back in Ireland and that means his parents don't get to watch many of his games, but they do get to keep up with Gary through our show. Falcon Fever reporter Sierra Barter was able to talk to Dave when he and his wife visited UM this week and she has more on the story. Keeping the winning streak going, the Falcons had a big victory this weekend over Francis Marion University. The guys played hard and held the Patriots in a shutout with a final score of 4-0. to zero. This past weekend's game wasn't just another game for team captain Gary O'Neill. His parents flew in all the way from Dublin, Ireland. Gary's dad, Dave O'Neill, says he watches Falcon Fever every week. Falcon Fever is a great way for us to keep up with what's happening with Gary all the way out here in America from Ireland. We watch the show every week and try to listen in to all the sports that are happening out here and it's a real good way for us to keep in touch. Gary's parents aren't the only ones who use Falcon Fever to keep in touch with their Falcon. A lot of UM's athletes aren't from the U.S., especially our soccer team. UM has players from all over the world, and Falcon Fever gives our international athletes, parents, a way to keep up with what is going on with the Falcons. Be sure to catch Falcon Fever this year and stay updated with all UM's athletics. Reporting for Falcon Fever, I'm Sierra Barter. And this brings us to a new feature here on our show. We're naming Dave O'Neill our Falcon Fever Fan of the Week. Dave interacts with us on Facebook and Twitter, and we just wanted to say thank you for your support, Dave. And we hope that you will keep watching the show all the way over in Ireland. Next, we have women's soccer, and the women are hot early on the season. It seems after their quick start, the women have hit a rough patch, though, losing their last two matches. Sunday, the women went up against Valdosta State here at home. The Falcons fell 3-1. Sophomore Nicole Johnson scored the team's lone goal of the match. This loss brought the women's overall record to 4-3-1, and, and they're 1-1 one and one in the PBC. The team hopes to return to their winning ways when they travel to Clayton State the 26th. That match kicks off at 4 p.m. Montevallo's women's cross-country team is racing to defend their Peach Belt Conference championship title. So far this season, the team finished first at the Early Bird Classic, which was held here at UM. Then the team placed second at the Fleet Feet Sports Earl Jacoby Memorial 5K in Huntsville. The team once again had the home course advantage coming into last Saturday's Falcon Classic race here on campus. Senior Haley Evans flew by the competition, finishing the 6K course with a time of 23 minutes and 20 seconds, earning her the title of PBC Runner of the Week. Fellow senior Kaylee Glover came in fifth with a time of 23.38. The team finished third overall. The men's cross country team has also been performing well this season. After finishing first at the Early Bird Classic and fifth at the Fleet Feet Sports 5K, the men faced off in the Falcon Classic. Sophomore Zachary Walsh led the Falcons finishing 18th overall with a time of 27 minutes and 43 seconds. PBC rival Augusta State took first place. The Falcons came in fourth overall. 
Both Falcons cross-country teams will be back in action October 6th to compete in the Disney World Cross Country Classic in Orlando, Florida. Then they're back on home turf to host their Peach Belt Conference Championships on October 20th. Let's head indoors where the volleyball team is celebrating 40 years here at the University of Montevallo. The women hope to make the program's 40th year a memorable one, downing their most recent opponent, PB Cifo Augusta State, three sets to one. At home, that's a good start. The Falcons were led by sophomore Michelle Walker, who collected 17 kills in the match. Head coach Katie O'Brien says she is happy with the way the team played. I am glad that we played intense. We've worked really hard. It's been an up and down preseason. So I am just happy that we put it out there. And we played well today. We can play better, but right. we played well. The volleyball team looks to ride the momentum from their last win as they start a short, a short road trip on the 28th. They make a stop in Savannah, Georgia to take on the Pirates of Armstrong Atlantic. Then they're on the road again the 29th. This time they head down to the Sunshine State to match up with Flagler College. Start times are at 5 and 1. The men and women's golf team has participated in the Full Moon Invitational last week at Timberline Golf Club in Calera. The men opened their season with a team championship while the women struggled to find a rhythm. The men finished one under par, placing them 13 strokes ahead of second place West Georgia. Junior, junior Connor Godsey won the individual title after finishing two rounds with six under par. Dalton Skinner was the individual runner-up with three under par. The women's team finished in sixth place, 31 strokes behind first place Lander University. Sophomore Ashley Beck led the Falcons with a tournament total of nine over par, which placed her fourth in individual standings. The women leave this weekend to South Carolina to play in the Lady Bearcat Invitational. The men's next match is October 8th and 9th, where they will travel to Destin, Florida to take part in the Indian Bayou Classic. There are some new faces to welcome to the university, and not all of them are freshmen. The Falcons athletic programs welcome, welcome in several new coaches. Blake Lewis takes over as baseball assistant coach and recruiting coordinator. Jabbar Adams is the new assistant head coach of the men's basketball program. Julia Marquardt starts her first season as assistant coach of the women's and men's cross country program. Tiffany Morton was named the assistant coach for the women's basketball team. Jeremy Hampton earned the title of women's soccer assistant coach. And Sean Clemenson is the volleyball assistant coach. We'd like to extend our congratulations to the new coaches and we can't wait to see them in action. Switching gears, we are excited to bring in a new segment this semester where we feature our Falcon Fever Player of the Week. This week's featured player is the soccer team's Brendan Ledgeway. Falcon Fever correspondent JoLynn Hanna joins us at this time. Welcome to the show, JoLynn. Thanks, guys. Brendan Ledgeway is here all the way from York, England, and is entering his third season as a goalie for UM. He has been named PBC Conference Goalie of the Week three different times and was also named all PBC last season. I got a chance to sit down and talk with Brennan about his team and playing for the Falcons. I found out he's a pretty humble guy and quick to credit his team for his success. So is it difficult being so far away from home? Do you get homesick or miss your family? Uh, yeah, sometimes obviously, you know, family's quite far away, but i um, got a lot of friends and, uh, you know, my girlfriend and her family are over here as well. You know, individu individual awards are nice, but ultimately, you know, it's, it's about winning conference and it's about winning championships and stuff like that so um, you know defensively we defend from the front with the, with the strikers and then through the midfield and the, obviously the defenders as well and then it comes back to me and luckily I have a very good back four in front of me so in terms of the work I have to do it, it makes it a lot easier. Do you want to um, say hi to everybody back home in York, England? Definitely yeah, I'd just like to say uh, hi to my mum and dad and um, sister, two brothers and all my friends and family over there, I know that, you know, they're always on the end of a phone and they're always supporting me whenever I need it, so. Good luck to Brendan and the rest of the UM soccer team throughout the rest of their season. We would also like to con congratulate Brendan and his girlfriend who are expecting their first child, a little girl, in a few weeks. For the full interview with Brendan, you can check out our YouTube channel and Facebook page. Thanks, JoLynn. Each week we will have a player of the week so if you have a suggestion, remember, you can get in on all the Falcon Fever action online at any time. That's right, Casey. And we encourage you to interact with us on any of our social media sites. 
You can watch current and past episodes of Falcon Fever on YouTube. Just search for Montevallo for you. Also, add us as a friend on Facebook. There you'll find links to sports stories throughout the week and live updates from the games. You can also leave a comment, talk about recent games, or give a shout out to your favorite UM athlete. You can also follow us on Twitter. Just search for UM Falcon Fever. And if you do, leave us a comment or tweet at us. We might just give you a shout out on our next show. And last but not least, get extended UM sports coverage on MontevelloFalcons.com. There you'll find team rosters, live stats, pictures, and more. Well, that's all the time we have for this week's show. I'm Casey Beasley. And I'm Michael Archeris. Thanks for watching, and be sure to tune in again next week. We'll see you then.